performance of Christmas this year. Now the play is, you, if you see the scenery here, I'll give you a, a heads up on what the play is about. It's a radio station based in the 1940s. Now, some of you may have been around that time, probably most of you weren't, or don't remember, but you're gonna see and hear some of maybe the, the advertisements and commercial jingles that were on at that time. You're gonna see uh, Big Daddy sitting in the chair there as a radio DJ. It's also set in Pigeon Hills. Does that sound familiar to anyone? Now, being, not being from Dover, I never heard of Pigeon Hills. But this is actually Pigeon Hills Broadcasting Company, that's the PHBC. Now, just as our imitates life, the radio station is going to have a blizzard. And they're going to face whether or not they have to stay in the radio station for Christmas this year. So, just like we have to do here. So, without further ado, I want to introduce and uh, welcome you. And uh, if they're out there in the wings. Would you welcome the cast of Christmas this year?
snow that is falling outside. Gather the children around, snuggle up, cry the style, and sing along.
two. Get the gum. Double good to chew.
they did not know that Christmas there in the humble manger scene how much the birth of the infant child one day to the earth would mean. They did not know the changes to come, the blessings of Christ or its go, but on that silent night he came the living as he took hope.
worship with great joy and the Lord baby people. Happy Lord Jesus was born, Bethel and Lord, Christmas born. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus also leads our way when it's fallen.
was sitting here watching the performance and seeing that the radio station was set back in the 40s, one thing that struck me was nothing changes. The Christmas story is the same 70 years ago, 700 years ago, 2,000 years ago. It's the same story. Clothing styles change, hairstyles change, but the message of Christmas is always the same. And I was here with these guys practicing and putting all their time into it. And people coming in off hours just practicing. And the one thing that really struck me about that was, yeah, they want to do they want to do a good job. But more important than that, they want to be able to share what God has done in their life with you. The reason they put all the hours in and practice and take time to do this is not to put on a show. It's to allow you to see what God's doing in each of those lives in the classroom. They spend about an hour praying before they come up this morning. They spend time praying throughout the week and every practice. The reason they do that is not so much that they do a good job. They want that what they sing, what they play, they want to have an impact on you. They want your life to experience the same thing they have. Now, I, I liken this to, this is kind of a new piece for you. I mean, have you ever gotten a good deal on a car? What's the first thing you do when you get a good deal on a car or a TV? What's the first thing you do? You tell everybody about the good deal you got. Right? What better deal can you get than having the God of the universe reach down to you and say, you know what? Your sins are all forgiven. Everything that you've done in the past is gone. And that's what God's done for each one of us. The only thing about that is we have to make a choice. The Bible says that God offers it to us. He offers that miraculous deal to you, to me. But we have to choose it. If I have a gift that's here and direct, and I set it down, you can look at that gift and you can think that that gift is real. You can know it's for you. But unless you come up to this altar and pick that thing up and unwrap it and use it, that gift means nothing to you. The gift of Jesus Christ, the gift of forgiveness of sins, is something that God offers each one of us. Every one of us has that same opportunity. The reason you're here this morning is because God wants you to be here for some reason, to hear something, either a song or a note that was played or something that was said, it's going to affect your heart. Christianity is more than just church on Sunday. It's a relationship, a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the God of the universe through Jesus Christ. And that's something that you can't fake, you can't put on. It's something that changes your life from the inside out. I've spoken to someone who has changed my life inside out. I'm telling you, it's a real thing. The birth of Jesus Christ is, is God's gift to each one of us. All we have to do, the Bible says, as many as receive Him, receive Him. Not believe in Him, we can receive Him. As many as receive Him, those are the people that He gives the authority or the right to call Him Father, children of God. God is not anyone's Father. God is only a Father to those who say, yes, He's my Father. Would you close your eyes and bow your heads this morning? Maybe you're here this morning and you've been in this church your, your whole life. Maybe this is your very first time. In either case, the message is still for you. The God of the universe sent His Son as a gift to each one of us. And that gift is us having eternal life. And when our life here is over, and we breathe our last, we are guaranteed, we are assured that we will be in heaven with Jesus. That is the gift of Christmas. If God never does anything else for us, if He never answers another prayer, doesn't do one thing, that gift is more than we can ever ask or imagine for. And Father, we are appreciative of that gift. 
If you're here, you've never really received it. You've heard about it. You talk about it. You know it. But you've never really allowed that gift to change your life. The reason that all these performers are ministering to you is because they want you to have the same joy that they have. What better way to express that than through song and music? If you're here and you want that relationship, you want to have that one-on-one -on -one with Jesus, I want you to raise your hand right now. This musical is meant for you.
thank you so much for coming out here to support our, our cast, our kids. And they say you never follow kids or animals, but we're here with these guys here. You guys having a good time? <laughs> I think they are. Now, a lot of these kids are their parents for the cast, but if you happen to be a mom sitting out there and one of these is yours, don't forget to come up and claim them right now. Because <laughs> we're going to close in prayer and we're going to send you off to have a great Christmas season and we'll see you next Sunday morning. Lord, we thank you again for all that you've done for us. We thank you for the privilege of being able to share that message in useful form to the folks that are here today. Lord, I pray that the, as they leave, that God, the spirit of Christmas would fill their hearts and their minds, and they would realize how much you truly love us. And Father, we commit each person to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let me show your appreciation one more time. Thank you.